What's up, people? So today we're gonna to talk about uh, bouncing light. How to utilize bouncing and how to how to utilize it. Uh... So today we're gonna to look at a couple different lighting setups from a indie horror movie that I just shot called Followers. It was a sequel to the first movie that we shot like a year and a half ago called Follower. I was the DP and gaffer for this movie. So let's take a look at a couple of different lighting setups that I used in this film that you can do as well, where all I did was bounce the light, take a hard light source and bounce it off a wall or bounce it off a table or a floor or a ceiling or anything. Coming up next. <laughs> Okay, so let's talk about the uh, first setup right here. Yeah, so let's start with this one. In this scene, all I was doing was literally we had a, uh, we turned on like a bunch of practicals, turned off the overhead uh, little cup lights that were on the ceiling. So this is a scene of all the characters prepping dinner and like drinking pumpkin beers around a way too expensive kitchen island. A ungodly priced kitchen island. Unbelievably expensive kitchen island. More expensive than the budget of the movie. All we were doing was we had the practicals on the walls turned on, like these fake candles on the wall. And then the kitchen island itself had these two, these really nice lighting fixtures that actually had these like frosted layers of diffusion, these plastic pieces that diffuse the actual bulb inside the fixture that looked really nice. So all I did for this was boomed over the 300X and put a lantern softbox on it, put a skirt around the lantern, focused it, one beam going down right above the bowl, and you can kind of see the shadow of the bowl, so you can kind of get a sense of where that, that uh, the 300X was. It was like slightly closer to Riley and, and Sam, and more centered on the table to mimic that overhead lighting fixture. And I just matched the color temperature to the lighting fixture itself at uh, 5600 Kelvin, and just blasted it down to the table, and then that table then bounced, it was a white marble table that bounced the light back up to them and gave them this really nice, soft kind of uh, glow. Yeah, and that was it. And it was literally just bouncing that light. I was just trying to mimic the practical. Yeah, but that's it for that one. That's literally all we did. That was There was nothing else to that besides that one light. Okay, let's look at this bedroom scene. So for this, there was a light outside the hallway, lighting him up in the hallway that was, I think, bouncing off of the ceiling. As he comes in, he drops the bag, looks out the window, and that was just the natural light coming through the window, lighting his face. And then as he walks through, we were losing him, and it was super dark right here in this section. All I did was I put a 300X on a turtle base junior receiver stand, put the 300X on a spotlight mount, and then just shot the spotlight up to the ceiling and had it bounce back, hitting the wall, hitting him, and bringing up the levels on Jackson himself. Otherwise, he would have just been completely dark. But it's still really moody, and it is still pretty dark. But without it, it just would have been fucking nothing. You couldn't see anything, because without light, you can't film. Moving on. So this is Jackson, he comes down the hallway, there's all this light blasting through the window, and he walks down the stairs, lands, super dark, looks over to the gun room, and walks inside. And he walks inside. When he got down to the hallway, he was so silhouetted and so sh shadowy, but you can still see when he lands, you can still see that like light coming off of from where that window was, but you couldn't with it, no lights on. So what we ended up doing was when he first came down, he was completely silhouetted and we didn't want to bring in any lights down to the hallway because we kind of liked the silhouette look. So what we did was we basically just put a, uh, I think it was the 600X on a light stand up at the top of the stairs and blasted it directly above the window into the ceiling and into the wall. When he first comes down the stairs and goes in that little midsection, all that light is coming from above him, hitting the wall and then hitting the side of his face. Is It looks like it's coming from the window, but it wasn't at all. It was actually a lot darker when he first walked down it. There was so much light getting pushed through the wall, against the wall and against the ceiling that when he walked down, we get that edge going along the 
sh his shoulder and his face. That kind of like brought him out a little bit so he wasn't completely silhouetted, but it's still we have his sh the shadow side of his face is super dark and it looked really great and ominous because the movie was very ominous and uh, especially with this scene too, the whole, this is kind of the beginning of everybody getting there and you're like, are these characters gonna be okay? Are they not gonna be okay? Let's find out. Okay, moving on. So all we did for this scene was, again, we just bounced the light. There was a 300X bouncing into the corner by the bathroom, and then there was a 600X on a junior pin receiver turtle base stand shooting up into the corner of the ceiling, and that's where you can kind of see it the most. That corner of the room where the arrows are, that is like the brightest, because that was the most light was getting pushed up in that corner and then spreading out hitting Jackson and, and Michael. Yeah, but it looked great. And the reason we did this was because we wanted to see the information outside, the trees and, and like a little bit of the sky, but mainly all the trees out there. We had to expose for outside, expose for the highlights outside that we couldn't control. And then I brought in the 600X and the 300X and shot both of them into different parts of the ceiling to light that entire room, but also in specific corners where the characters weren't completely just flat and there was still some like shape and shadows and, and roll off and highlights and shadows and da 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 da. And that was it. That's all for that scene. Okay, moving on to my favorite scene in the entire fucking movie, the dinner scene. So we had a day off and we were shooting this scene the following day and that whole day off was basically me just by myself figuring out how I was gonna light this scene and calling Jimmy over and calling Molly over and being like, what, how does this look? How does this look? How does this look? What do you think? What do you think? Blah, 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 blah. And I tried like, I wanna say four different ways of lighting this. Basically, long story short, what I ended up doing was putting a Fresnel mount on the Aperture 300X, putting it at a 20 degree spot, and that light was then bouncing up to the characters. And I think I had it set at, I think 50%, around 50, maybe 40 or 60 or something around there. And it was set at 3200 Kelvin. And outside, I had the 600X on the la the lantern, pushing throughout the, car the courtyard, faking the moonlight, and then the 300X hitting the table, lighting all the characters. And I know this setup to be called the Robert Richardson Special, which is the cinematographer that shoots most of Quentin Tarantino's, if not all of his movies. I don't know if that's true or not, but I know he shot most of them. He does this thing in a lot of his movies where he, he just has a top hard source hitting a table, and that table is the only thing lighting the characters. This is a great, uh, this is like one of my favorite fucking scenes in the movie. I think it looks great. And it also is super uh, dramatic and super yummy. And uh, I really like, and that was all we did for that. It was just the two practicals that we had turned on that were these like really cool chandeliers and the 300X with the Fresnel and the moonlight coming from the 600X on the lantern attachment. And that was it. And that covers it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here. And I hope you learned something about bouncing light into walls, ceilings, floors, tables, and any and moons bouncing light off the moon. Look at that. Look over there. Look. What's that? Oh. And that's a wrap.